Now, the Academic Staff Union of University at the Federal University of Technology, MINA, is calling for speedy investigation into the death of Professor Fumilola Adifolalu, a professor of biochemistry who was killed on Sunday morning in her residence in MINA. Chinemi Bamiye reports. Professor Fumilola Adifolalu was a professor of biochemistry from the Federal University of Technology, MINA, before she was gruesomely murdered on Sunday morning in her residence where she lived alone. According to findings, she was found in a pool of blood in her house on Sunday morning by church members who paid her a visit after they noticed her unusual absence from the Sunday morning worship service. TVC News visited the scene of the crime and fingers are pointing in the direction of her maid who was laid off a week ago. Policemen have confirmed this. She later visited the house with two unknown men a week after. Uh, a segment of the interrogation that pointed to a housemaid who was initially working with her and uh, she was laid off probably due to one uh, uh, misbehavior or some attitude that she was not comfortable with. Uh, but we, we are not concluding. We are, we are interviewing people, as I said. The FUT branch of the Academic Staff Union of Universities said the situation is unacceptable. We want justice for our member. We want uh, the culprit to be apprehended within, if not a uh, matter of days, if not, uh, if not hours. We want them to be brought to book and we want justice. And for us as, a, as members of the university, as her colleague, we feel pained that things like this will happen in our society. For me, I think uh, whatever resources is required to ensure that these criminals are brought to justice, I think it should be deployed. There's been a handful of cases of burglary, but a crime of this magnitude has never occurred here. She's a mother indeed, very nice woman. She's a mommy to us. In fact, I found it difficult to sleep last night because of her shock. I have worked with her for the last eight to nine years. She was such an amazing woman. I traveled for a month, and when I returned, I visited her and she introduced this new girl she employed to me, and we all prayed together. Members of the academic staff you know, here in Niger State said this is the first time their members will be brutally attacked like this and killed in cold blood. They're calling on the police to speed up investigation and bring the perpetrators to book. Chenemibami, TVC News, Mina.